Welcome back to the channel guys and today we are going to be looking, I don't normally do a overview or test or anything of my water coolers but today I'm going to take a look at the B-Sky Ice Dragon. Uh, B-Sky had been using a lot of their parts lately, I find them probably the next big thing to EK water blocks whether one's bigger than the other, great question, I know EK is very popular in the market and of course they make some dynamite product as well. Well, B-Sky is there too. B-Sky make a lot of that stuff the exact same way. Uh, I would say on par. I don't know if I would, you know, say that one is better than the other or that B-Sky is as good as EK. That's a great question, but you definitely get a damn good product. So today we're going to look at the B-Sky Ice Dragon Reservoir. Uh, this is a reservoir pump. Uh, it should have everything that I need to go into Project Ripper. Now Project Ripper is something I haven't talked about yet. Uh, we are going to build the Threadripper on the show. I am going to probably try and build that live. Uh, of course we'll have to wait until uh, family issues are completely out of the way. But we will be doing something really cool real soon. Haven't decided the case that it goes in. If you guys have a case thought, you know, comment below, let us know. So we're going to take a look at this guy here, the Ice Dragon. You have a quality assurance seal here. As like I said, B Sky is a well-known product. Uh, you've probably seen that logo many times before as a major player in the water cooling PC division. So let's just cut this here open. Take a look at what we have. Nice box, I like that. I haven't, normally the B-Sky stuff I've ordered has been like a uh, brown box, whether it be uh, just a water block or uh, just a reservoir itself. And sometimes in that case, you do not get a uh, pretty box like this. Okay, so right off the bat, we are greeted with a spongy double sticky. Now that is needed if you're going to put it down on something and you don't want any vibration sounds in your case. Especially if your case is not known for uh, great sound dampening, this is definitely a great alternative to help dampen that sound. Uh, this cable is loose, good. So it's a uh, ARGB a connector here. You ha do have a controller by the look of it right here. I think it's a controller or maybe just a layout. It's definitely, oh yeah, it's a controller. There's buttons here. Okay, so this is a controller to adjust your colors, uh, the modes, and so on. And of course, that's a SATA power connector, which is what I expect in something modern today. So this is an ARGB uh, water-cooled pump, so this is pretty cool. Uh, also here, we have a uh, weird connection here. I'm gonna see how that might be needed. Oh, I guess it's needed because of this right here. So there is a uh, reasoning beyond, behind this. So that is another way to hook it up, I guess, to the thing. Let's get this piece here out. First, I'll just put that aside, see if there's anything else in this box. And there is. Okay. So this is something I thought was really, really, really unique by these guys. Um, basically, it is a locking style system, which is pretty interesting when you have the uh, chamber in. This should be a good tight locking system for that. Uh, it's, it's unique. I've never actually had anything like this before, so... I'll find out what that's like as I'm putting it together. Let's just put that out of the way there. And then of course we have uh, another unit. Of course, the basically the same thing. Some elbows that you're used to getting in any of the water coolers and your bolt lockdowns for uh, mounting hardware. So we'll just put that out of the way as well. Now, I went with the tallest that they seem to make in this uh, particular product. Let's just take these bubbles off here. Wow, that's really nicely done. Um, one nice thing I like is the straw in here. I find that really helps with the uh, the uh, liquid being pushed down through. Um, this is all aluminum on the bottom here. Um, I'm very familiar with these type of water pumps. Uh, they're really good. I'm using a brushed aluminum red one in my uh, current build right now, which I got to do a video and show you guys that as well. Um, the top here is aluminum. So it's not just plastic, like most. 
this is a aluminum piece as well really nice nicely machined with a gasket running down in through here so one thing that was like it was kind of like buying an ek water block uh water system um without spending all that money um nice thing here too is i believe this can be unscrewed yep and you can put it in oops <laughs> any hole you want so it's up to you if you want to move it it just you know not really necessary but that's just one thing if you wanted to um in here there's actually you're seeing a sponge filter now what that is is just if you want to use it you don't have to i'm probably not going to use it for aesthetics it does not look very nice but it actually is very smart um nothing will pass through either way depending on how you're doing things nothing will pass through this and end up wrecking your pump so or or going out and wrecking something else so that is uh really nice to have it's a it's a unique little feature I'll probably have to get tweezers or something to take that out. Um, of course, this can unscrew here. You have an acrylic uh, base, and uh, the base is actually ARGB lit. If you look carefully, you will see uh, little uh, things in here. The diodes or sensors, there they are. So there's lights that wrap around shooting inward. So you're not actually going to see those little LEDs. It'll look really nice. They're firing inward, which is going to be a nice touch lighting up the whole chamber and that's neat because my other one uh that's the one part of my case that's really dark everything else is well lit and that one spot is just dark until the system is actually bright and lit up you don't really notice this whole area wow that's actually got some weight to it uh, it's really well done um one thing like i said b sky is well 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 famous for is their water pumps and their water blocks they do make a ton of fittings. I believe all my fittings are B Sky. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. By Sky, B Sky, Besky, B Sky. B I don't know. Whatever. If you guys uh, know how it's really pronounced, correct me in the bottom with like, you know, letter, hyphen, this, that, whatever. Whatever makes you happy to make fun of me. And just do so. Have fun making fun of me. So, of course, you have one port out here. You don't need to worry about the in port because this is a full tube setup. If you did need it uh, done differently, you can do that. I believe you can buy this uh, pump with a different acrylic block where you're not needing the full canister. And it just has a uh, hose input. Um, three fittings up here. So, of course, one will be your in um, the, uh, which will be the one, of course, you chose with the pipe on it. Uh, one will be your fill hole and, and, and a cap off, whichever. It depends on what you're doing, of course. Everybody does something different. Um, but to give you the multi holes to deliver that uh, liquid to wherever you need to go. And it's very important. I find that when I use a bigger chamber, I'm cooling the water down better as there's going to be cooler water in here than someone using a little one or or anything like that where it's going to stay more warm i know when the water goes through here it does kind of cool it down but when you have something big so you have a lot a big volume of water you're going to create a cooler volume of water going out to your product so warm water coming in has to pass through all this cooler water to go out and, and that to me i find is a true plus now on the back here, that little connector I talked about snaps into here, and that is your ARGB. Um, and then here you have a uh, power, so that's your PWM. That's to control the pump speed through your motherboard's BIOS or through software, depending on what you're using. And it even gave you a really nice Spice Guy uh, wrap here, like the, the, the uh, nylon Velcro wrap, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to power it up so we can just take a look at the lighting on it. I won't power up the pump because if I power up the pump we could actually hurt it because it's dry. But we'll power up the, uh, the light and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so for this we're just going to take this. Make sure we match up here. Again, oops, am I doing it wrong? Nope. Tight fit. There we go. So here we have... The light work going on and I'm going to play around with some of this here oh there we go so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn the uh, light off yeah I don't know if that makes it too 
bright for the camera, but let's just see some of the modes here. That's pretty cool. There's my color, of course. But maybe there's some mixing I wouldn't mind seeing. Also, it's a dimming switch. So you can dim it as well, so that's really cool. So that was max bright we just seen there, and then way down we go. Uh, let's just play around some other modes here. I guess dimmer is probably better for the camera. But as you can see here, right? I mean, it's going to light that bottle up beautifully. Just beautifully. And it's got a lot of cool little modes. So there's a lot of color thing going on. It's quite sharp. Oh, I think that might be my my favorite right there. Of course, then we can change it up a little. It's almost like a police beacon. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? I think that this is pretty cool. I can't wait to see what it's like. So we will be doing a, another review on this. This was more just the open box. Take a look at what you get when you get a B-Sky product. What the quality is like. And to be honest, I played around with a lot of the big guys. And this doesn't feel any less in the weight form. I guess like if you want to call it a heavy weight. It's still there. It's built pretty much, in my opinion, as good as the other guys. I don't know about longevity. I can't, you know, stage for that or, or say that this is going to be the best thing in the world. Okay guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. I think that we're dealing with a pretty good winner here. Again, with all the other B-Sky products that I've used in the, uh, the past, I haven't had any issues. The stuff is still going. The quality and build is on par with what I would call pretty much anybody else. I would put it even up against a EK water block as such. Not saying that this is better. Not saying that it's definitely cheaper. It's under $100. I'll link down below for the AliExpress where I got this. And if you're interested in it, then uh, it's not sponsored link, so it's not going to help the channel. I'm just doing it to help you. And I will give you my overall thoughts and everything later on when I actually get it in Project Ripper. This is the cooler uh, reservoir I chose for the project. And again, this is going to be just doing the Thread Ripper. When the time comes that I'm going to do a uh, water block on whatever video card will stay in the Ripper, I'm going to buy another one of these, put them side by side, and have completely different loops. Therefore, I can have different color of water going through the lines. I thought that would be a really nice touch, and I have not done that yet. So guys, uh, let me know in the comments below. Sound off. Let me... What do you think? Have you used this one? This is the Ice Dragon from B-Sky. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're thinking maybe, hey, this is a definite option for me moving forward. But for me, definitely, I am going to give it a shot, as I'm definitely a uh, fan of this brand and the money you save. Don't get me wrong, I bought a lot of EK stuff. You'll see in my next build that I will finally get that video up because it's been a knife in my back just because, one, I have to get someone here. It's quite heavy, and from the car accident, I am not going to lift it. Uh, two, I just finally got a plate in so I can turn it around without having to lift it so I can show you guys everything about that case. Uh, I'm very proud of it. It's my first true, I'm going to say it's my second water build ever, but it's my first, actually third water build, I guess. But anyway, it is my first real endeavor into doing something truly, truly custom for you guys. And I'm very proud of it. You see it in the background sometimes in videos. But you don't get to see it and I'll go over that and what I've done and why and how nice it's running um, how well the temps are and so on but anyway guys tell that next time thank you for watching stay safe game over